What is the fastest way to go from being a complete noob to making your way to the second C? Well, today, I'm gonna find out exactly that. Currently, I am on a completely new account, and we're gonna see how long it takes to go to level 700. Now, to make sure we can keep track of time, boom, baby, there we go, six hours of double XP. So, let's freaking go, man. We're gonna go as fast as humanly possible. Now, previously, I've done some videos about, like, different ways that you can actually, um, you know, get level 50 insanely fast, but it requires a second account, so that seemed like a little bit cheaty, but what we are going to be doing, we're going to be utilizing a little bit of Robux, so, I mean, you've already seen it on my back, I don't even know why I'm punching these guys, we're going to be utilizing the Dark Blade, which actually, for your information, is like, literally like 10 times better than combat, like, it's insanely much better, boom, baby, first quest completed, also, one thing that we're also going to be using is the Buddha Fruit, which is just simply, oh god, I already put my stats in the wrong thing, okay, it's fine for now, it's fine for now, oh my god, I'm just being stupid, I guess, <laughs> but yeah, the the reason that the Buddha fruit is just so good at actually, you know, grinding for literally levels, um, because you can just simply hit way more things. You have a way bigger hitbox, which is always a good thing. All right, new quest available. Why am I even here? Let's go, baby. We already made our way off the first island. And what? It's not even been a minute yet. Like, it's been literally just about a minute. Now, because I wanted to just challenge myself just to see how fast it really is possible to actually go to the second sea, I also bought the luxury boat dealer. You really don't need this stuff. Uh, and I even did a lot of research to see how you can do exactly this with like actually zero robux all right then here we go baby made it to the second or second c second island all right we're gonna throw all of our points into sword at least for the foreseeable future now as you can see we are already absolutely breezing through these levels and that is just simply because the dark blade is honestly really really good like if we did not have the dark blade right now this would be taking like at least a little bit longer but actually at some point we're straight up gonna be getting rid of our dark blade and replace replacing it with something else because it's almost almost as good and it's actually you know anyone can get it it's completely free all right baby there we go come on are we gonna get all the way to level 25 that's what we need to get oh dude we are so close oh my god is this gonna put us over the edge actually you know what yeah i think it will okay it, it did just about not dang it great we, we got killed by you're a moron if you got the freaking gravity fruit what are you even doing here oh my god man okay guys it's fine it's fine i was just getting a, just getting a little bit mad <laughs> all right there we go quest completed but i think we actually need level 30 why was even why did i think i needed level 25 I'm, I'm very stupid. So guys, unlike what I was doing earlier, it's pretty much always worth your time to actually be doing the latest quest that you've been given, okay? Like, if I have this quest, it is generally pretty stupid until you get to, like, the third C to ever do anything but this quest. Also, this guy really wants to um, fight me, but I'm better than you, so too bad, buddy. Bro, bro, stealing my kills! Oh, bro, I'm about to enable PvP. I'm about to enable PvP, bro. I'm about to mess this dude up. Bro, you're about to die! Oh, God. Oh, wait, actually, he's really high level. Uh, this is a bad idea for me. Come on, this at least just get one more kill. Just get one more kill. Okay, reset character. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We got the next quest. We can make our way to the next island, and it's taken us about eight minutes in the game so far. So, honestly, we're doing pretty dang good. Now, one thing that I'm gonna recommend you actually get right about now, uh, if you don't obviously have a dark blade or some of the other things, is actually the slingshot from over there. Uh, over there, you can buy a slingshot at the center of the town, and trust me, it is insanely good for grinding. No matter what fruit, fighting style, or anything you have, simply rounding up the enemies it's gonna just make things go way faster the only exception if, is if you you know got buddha and dark blade and you can just simply run around killing a bunch of different things but hey let's start putting a bunch of our points back into sword i want to get at least level 100 on here just so that we can actually start dealing some pretty decent damage now it's our goal to get through these islands as fast as possible so we want to just get right into things and we're gonna skip all the you know weird stuff like buggy the clown get out of here bro we don't care about you you're you're irrelevant to us we can literally not even hit you with our sword <laughs> now because of that because we want to go as fast as we can we actually are also gonna you know deal damage to the little enemies around here now if i were you guys right now what i would be doing is uh saving up to actually buy the uh what is it called wait we can deal damage to buggy how isn't he like anti-sword okay well whatever we killed the boss um i didn't really mean to but he was just being annoying um <laughs> But yeah, one thing I would really try to get right now, if I was one of you guys, is actually the, the fighting style that's over there. It's really so much better than combat or even anything else. Now, it's not better than the Dark Blade, okay? I gotta be honest with you. I did the testing. It's not better than the Dark Blade, but it's, like, not that much worse. All right, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, next quest available. We're gonna be doing the Brutes. Oh, yeah. Soon, we're actually also gonna start leveling our, uh, our melee, even though we currently still have combat. And combat is, man, it is really, really bad. You wanna get rid of that as quick as you can. 
But the reason we're actually gonna level our melee is because we're running out of energy. We need to get around faster. And we're getting way, we're being way too freaking slow. All right, quest completed. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna put all my points into melee, or sorry, sword for now. And then I'm gonna start leveling melee. All right, level melee. Now guys, currently we are two levels away from actually getting ourselves to the next island. I'm pretty sure. So what I'm actually gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking on this quest right here, uh, which is now gonna go insanely fast because I'm pretty sure it will just be just about enough to actually put us over the edge. And you know what? While I'm on this island, I'm actually gonna be picking up these as well because we're gonna need a lot of money later down, you know, in this run. Wait, what? We did not get a new quest? Bro, wait. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Okay, we uh, we are still a little ways away from our next quest. <laughs> But we are level 50 now, which is kind of insane. We did it in just like about like 11 minutes, I think. Uh, now, I've done some testing. There are ways that you can do it in like three minutes, but you need like a friend or like an alt account and stuff like that. So I figured I wouldn't do that for this run, even though it is a speed run. You know, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but it, it just didn't like seem really all that fair. <laughs> like I'm assuming that when you're starting the game, you probably don't have like a max level friend who can do exactly what you need him to do. All right, baby, there, there we go. Next quest available uh, at the pirate village it's actually going to be buggy the clown which is actually a quest that we can't really do we just killed buggy which is fine honestly it's not really that good of a quest for us to do anyway so uh, i am just wait actually he is right there you know what we are going to do him if he is there <laughs> because he is generally like a bit better than the other quests he's just not that much better but like i'm just confused why i can hit him how can i hit him i'm so confused oh i'm, I'm actually dead yeah i forgot that i haven't leveled my health at all <laughs> all right there we go buggy killed get a couple levels nice new quest available wait that was actually perfect then all right then well here we go next quest it's gonna be at the desert so uh, i don't really need to track it i know exactly where the desert is but yeah you can track it if you want to it's it, it, it's right there and only just now am i noticing that i've actually been forgetting to put any of my levels into my stats i do that all the time try to not do that if you can i i'm just a forgetful person so yeah it's it's just something i was born with dang it <laughs> all right the next quest here we go desert city baby this is this is when things are gonna start going really really fast now we're already almost level 100 okay it's been like literally 15 minutes 15 minutes level 100 that's like 10 percent of the way there that's crazy all right quest completed start the next one and yeah pretty much every single quest has like some downtime uh, right now we're waiting for them to spawn and yeah you want to just kind of go around in a circle as they're spawning in they're dying which is which pretty much means that you're going as fast as possible also we are getting closer and closer to death so actually these are like my three things that i'm gonna level i'm gonna cap out melee probably at like level like two or three hundred uh, I'm not going to go above that because we just don't need it. And it's probably about the same for, uh, you know, for defense. We don't need that much defense. We just want, we just got to make sure that we don't die, you know? All right, there we go. Level 70. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to get to 75. So we're almost there. And we just unlocked the second ability on Darkblade, which we're pretty much never going to use. Um, Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Boom. I think that's just about not going to be enough. Yeah. All right, there we go. I think that's enough. Yes, there we go. Desert officer. Here we go, baby. Next up, we got a quest over. Come on, get me out of here. Get me. Stop, bro. I got stuck. All right, baby. There we go, man. Dude, we're going very, very fast right now. This is pretty good. Okay, so of course, there is one thing that you can do to actually speed things up in general. Actually, there's a couple. One of those being actually having the mink race. Having the mink race is just going to generally speed you up, which means that this is taking less time, which means that you're actually going faster, which is one of the reasons that I really really like mink but uh yeah I, I i i didn't get mink i don't know why i didn't get mink i didn't get mink but there's actually other things that you can do as well such as um you know getting different accessories and things like that now i don't know yet which accessory we're gonna get and actually when we're gonna get it probably just when i'm like physically kind of close to it but yeah there are accessories that are actually gonna just simply make you more powerful like it's kind of sick wait did i not start a quest man i'm an idiot oh wait new quest available let's go okay wait bro uh, wait actually did i even i even selected the wrong quest bro it doesn't we don't need to be here Okay, guys, now <laughs> let's go. I think we can actually go to the snow island now. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I, for some reason, I can't sit down in that boat, but yeah, we're going to head to the snow island. So let's go that way. Band of this quest. We don't need you anymore. Track. All right. Now, as you can see, we already got over $100,000, which is actually pretty good. I actually didn't get myself the uh, the 2X XP or sorry, 2X. Did I get 2X gold? I, just, I, I, I don't think I have that. <laughs> Yeah, when I try it on the, the, the it says that you already own this. Yeah, I, I I don't have the double money game pass. So I figured at least that way you guys have a bit of an idea where you can actually 
get the different really good things. So with 100k gold, I'm pretty sure you can actually go ahead and buy your first next really, really good fighting style. Actually, uh, the kicking one. I, I forgot. Uh, dark step? Death step? Dark step? I think it's the dark step. Uh, yeah, it's actually really good and it's definitely worth getting. Okay, I just Googled it. It's actually 150,000. So when you get to 150,000, that's probably what you're going to want to buy. Now, one thing that we're actually going to have to get as soon as possible is going to be a hockey. It simply just makes you more like powerful in every way you could actually imagine. So yeah, get that as soon as you can, which I'm pretty sure you got to get it at level 100. So that's what I'm currently waiting for. And when I get to level 100, I'm immediately going to buy that. All right, two levels off. Just need two more levels and then I can get the hockey. All right, there we go. Level 100, baby. All right, we also get the new quest. We can actually start killing the little weird snowman now, but we're going to head into this cave and let's see. Here he is. Wait, color specialist is also here. Oh, hi, newbie. <laughs> All right, we're going to want to get Aura. Aura is the one you want. 25k, buy it immediately. And I'm just going to get the other ones because I might as well. Flash tap is simply going to just allow us to go faster. Actually, it's 100k. Wait, we don't have enough uh, money. <laughs> All right, I'll save up for a little bit and then I'll also buy a uh, flash tap because yeah, it's just simply going to allow us to go faster. All right, Mr. Villager, give me my next quest. All right, snowman's it is. Now, one thing you're going to start seeing more and more of is actually that a lot of enemies are pretty spread out. So uh, yeah, that's actually one way that the game is trying to slow you down a little bit. So the faster you go, the simply the more damage you're doing. And I didn't really need to kill that guy. I just, I guess I kind of just did. <laughs> Also, I have hockey now. What am I doing? Activate it right away. It just feels, it just simply makes you do more damage. Wait, new quest available again? Oh my God, we can do the Yeti already. Now we just killed the Yeti. So I guess we cannot do the Yeti already, but uh, yeah, we could have done the Yeti. <laughs> now, one thing I would really almost never recommend for leveling is actually uh, server hopping. Like for example, now I could kill the Yeti uh, and I could server hop to actually find new Yetis over and over and over again. But generally speaking, if you're trying to gain regular levels, it's almost never really going to be faster. If you're trying to get mastery, uh, that's different. For mastery, that's probably what you want to do, but we don't need mastery right now. Uh, we already have 72 levels in our dark blade, meaning that we can do stuff like this, which we haven't really been doing, but we can do that now. So yeah, wouldn't really do that. Also, I have a feeling that there's a guy lurking there to actually kill us. And uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm so low level, bro. He would just insta kill me. I don't even have levels in health. Like, come on, man. Oh my God, the Yeti is back. Uh, still not going to kill him right now. <laughs> All right, now that we are here, I shall kill the Yeti. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure he's actually going to give us like pretty nice levels. All right, there you go. Wait, dude, it really is that guy hacking? Wait, Wait, he's got like, oh, wait, we got the next quest. I don't care if you're hacking. He's got like dark blade and like, he's got like hockey. Like, what are you, what are you doing, man? Now, one thing, ah, do I want to buy it while I'm still here? I'm actually going to skip on a flash step for now. You know what? I don't really need it that bad. All right. Now, one thing you can actually utilize all the time and speed things up is uh, the teleporting system. Right now, I cut like half of my travel time in half using a teleport. So uh, yeah, make sure you set your teleport like at the center of the map. It's pretty useful. Now, I almost can't believe I'm saying this, but dude, it's like literally been like, but it's, it's not even 40 minutes. It's like been, it's like been 30 minutes and we've, are, wait, I don't want to set my spawn point here. It was wrong. Wrong NPC guy. Uh, we've already made it to the Marine Fort or like Marine place, which bro, we are going fast, man. Now, one thing I'm a little bit scared of, uh, you know, starting to happen is that we might run into like other players also grinding the same enemies, which you want to avoid at all costs. They're literally cutting your efficiency down in half. So uh, yeah, there's a guy over there and I don't really trust that guy. So um, <laughs> sometimes you can kind of scare them away by killing them, which I, you know, it sounds a little bit rude, but you know, I don't mean it that way. It's nothing personal, kid. Now, actually, guys, one tip that I have for, uh, you know, specifically uh, this quest is that actually uh, what you should be doing is pretty much only doing the, the left side here, you know, killing the four enemies here on the left side and just waiting for them to respawn. It's just simply going to be faster. Now, there's someone with the freaking gravity fruit, man. What are you doing in the first C? Well, actually, it's control. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. All right, new quest available. I'm pretty sure this guy just killed the admiral. Wait, no, he didn't. Wait, oh my God. Well, I guess he got killed or something, but I guess we could take on the, uh, the admiral then. <laughs> Oh my God! We just got melted, man. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's the one thing about uh, uh when you don't level your health at all. Actually, as I say that, I'm gonna just throw a couple levels in there. Uh, if you don't level your health at all, that's what you're gonna get when you actually fight any kind of boss. It's a little bit scary. Oh, uh, we're gonna maybe just kill this guy in the process, cause why not? I don't know why, but he, he looked at me a little bit weird. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's actually way like higher level than me. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> Feels bad, huh? It happens to me all the time. Okay, that was rude. I, I feel I feel bad now. Like I said. I'm just trying to scare him away so he doesn't actually start grinding these enemies. Tilt him a little bit, if you will. All right, we got more levels, so I'm just going to throw those straight into defense. Because, yeah, at some point soon, we're actually going to have to start killing more bosses. A um, little bit nervous about that, but hey, it's cool. I'm keeping my out to, eye out to see if the, the guy respawns, because if he does, uh, yeah, we're going to want to kill that guy. He's just simply going to give us a lot of XP. All right, couple more levels, and we should be off to the next island already. Bro, this is going 
blazing fast. Now guys, one thing that I should mention that if you actually cannot get a Buddha fruit, which is kind of likely, actually doing something very similar, but instead using a Logia fruit is almost as good. Like a Logia fruit can pretty much do this exact same thing because, you know, the enemies can't hit you unless you're like, you know, like lo lower level than them or something like that, which you generally really should never be. So yeah, it, th that is a really good option. Even the smoke fruit is enough to actually, you know, make it worth your while. And if you can't get any of those, get yourself the chopped fruit. It's like usually even in the store. And yeah, that's already going to be like worthing, working on like, and I don't know, enemies with swords. Like they're actually not going to be able to kill you, which makes you just way more resilient. It's it's really good stuff. So yeah, if you can get one of those. Oh, dude, you got to be freaking leopard. What, what are you doing here, dude? Bro, you don't belong here. You're you're like a third C, Donnie. Like, what are you doing, man? Oh, wait, we got next quest, bro. Literally, if you get the next quest, drop whatever you're doing. It's just simply not even worth it. We're heading to the sky sky lands, which is honestly the only re reason I even bought like the double jump. We're not going to re really need it for any point other than here. So yeah, that's the only reason I bought it. Main reason is because we have absolutely no way of actually going up in verticality, like literally, literally nothing. Okay, guys, currently one thing that I'm actually starting to consider is actually, wait, we don't even need the jump anymore. We, we got bridges. I, for I forgot they added these. <laughs> wait, actually, I want to, I kind of want to leave my boat here so that I can grab it later. Uh, yeah, one thing I'm actually kind of considering right now is going over to the cyborg and killing it because he actually has the best accessory in the first C and I think we could kill him now, but it might be just a little bit too challenging. We don't have a lot of health. All right, we're going to have to make our way all the way up here. All right, Mr. Sky Adventurer. Give me a quest. Uh, we're going to do the Sky Bandits. Okay, now what you're going to want to do for this one, I actually have a bit of a strategy that makes you go way faster. You're going to simply uh, drop down here and kill them, which, you know, is the kind of obvious part. You're going to have to go down to kill them. Just drop down. It's way faster. Also, I already messed up uh, something. Actually, when you get to the island, the moment it says Skylands, uh, actually just uh, reset character and die. Uh, it will put you all the way up there. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that is one way that you can actually avoid the time that I spend walking up here. It's not a lot of time. It's a little bit dumb of me, but uh, it's not that bad. But yeah, pretty much every single time you finish your quest, just reset character. It's actually faster than walking up there. All right, next quest started. Here we go. Making sure to re-enable your hockey, by the way, because yeah, that actually does make still like make a huge difference. Also, we're officially 40 minutes in and uh, yeah, we're already at level 150. So uh, we're going pretty freaking fast, man. Like we're a third of the way there. Sorry, a fourth of the way there. All right, now I just took some time out of my grinding to actually uh, pull up some of the data that I actually uh, ended up grabbing for you guys. So you actually know uh, what you should and shouldn't be doing in the first C. So pretty much, I actually looked up what the different damage values are of the different things in the first C, like stuff that you can easily get. So out of my uh, very scientific testing, I actually made sure that all my stats were the same, even with like the, the different boosts that you get from the different swords when you level them. So here it is, guys. So the absolute uh, best thing to actually level things, it's the Dark Blade, okay? And that's the reason that we're using it because we're trying to go really, really fast. But actually, surprisingly, there are two contenders that are really, really close. Now, firstly, we have Water Kung Fu. Water Kung Fu is actually very close in damage to the Dark Blade. Dark Blade scored 1,000 uh, points. And actually, Water Kung Fu scored 700. So that means that the Water Kung Fu is actually pretty freaking good. Wait, is the game broken? No, no. Wait, what is happening? But I'm losing time. What? what? Man, internet connection. Dang it. All right, well, a little bit of time loss. Uh, it's okay. It's not the end of the world, but uh, damn, definitely kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, one thing that you actually can get in the third, or sorry, second, but I'm, I'm missing all the numbers that are wrong. In the first C, that is literally like only very, very slightly worse than the Dark Blade is actually the Saber. I did the math, you know, if uh, let's say, let's say if the Dark Blade did 10 damage per hit, then actually the Saber does eight, which is like 80% of 10, which is really, really good. So yeah, that is definitely the sort that I would get if I did not currently have the Dark Blade. But yeah, I actually think at some point I might swap out my Dark Blade for a different sword. Uh, or not, sorry, for, not for a different sword, for a fighting style, that being Water Kung Fu. And there's actually kind of like an interesting reason for that. And that is just simply that fighting styles are always going to be like a little bit better, in my opinion, than uh, swords. And I'll show you exactly why that is. As you guys can see, currently, as I'm slicing away with my Dark Blade, 
after every couple of hits, I, you know, take a second to start hitting again. Uh, but fighting styles actually don't do that. So you kind of always just kind of, you know, keep punching away at the same pace. It, it's really good. So yeah, I might just get rid of my Dark Blade at some point, boy. Like, who knows? It would definitely be a pretty bold move because Dark Blade is still insanely good. Now, one thing I do have to wait for first, though, is actually getting 750,000 coins or what is it called? Belly? It's actually called Belly. We call them dollars in the game. I don't know. In the anime, it's called Belly. We need 750,000 because that's just simply how expensive uh, the fighting style is at uh, Water Kung Fu. So yeah, when we get there, we'll see. I might just get rid of my Dark Blade, which would be kind of insane. All right, there we go. I think we have, yeah, baby, enough levels to do our next quest, man. We're already almost at level 200. I think when we have level 200, we're gonna move on from this area, which, bro, we are absolutely breezing through the game, bro. It's, it's been, what? It's not even been an hour yet, has it? Dude, it's not even been a full hour yet. Now, this is exactly what I was afraid of. This guy is in our area, and uh, I think the only way that we can actually deal with him is simply if we kill him. Now, he does, like, no damage, and uh, he, he's got a lot of health. I don't know what this dude did with his health, man. Like, it's a bit weird. <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna be our next area, so I I scared him away, guys. I'm sorry! I know I'm a bad person, but it, it's it's all for the challenge, okay? Like, what, what can I say? Yeah, even from here, by the way, it's still faster to actually just reset than getting up there again. Oh, dude, I fell down. Oh my god, I got stuck in the menu. Wait, what? Ah! Ah! Brother, what? I got stuck in the menu. And actually, real quick, guys, I just wanted to show you this. These are the exact damage values of like, um, you know, a thousand stat points in each one of them. Dark Blade's the best. Saber is like really like close after. Soul Cane is also one of the good ones. Water Kung Fu is good. And these two are also like really, really good. I didn't even, I didn't even put combat on there because it's absolutely atrocious. All right, let's uh, not fall off the map again. That was insanely brain dead of me. Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh my God, I almost forgot to start my quest again. Now, guys, uh, I only just now realized that I actually ended up making a slight bit of a mistake um the best accessory for me is actually not the drop by the cyborg which dude that would be super risky to do uh, there's a good chance i would die but actually it's on the desert island and i could have gotten it while i was there i ended up not getting it because i'm an i'm an absolute idiot but uh yeah we're gonna actually have to end up grabbing that because it's a pretty significant boost in damage all right quest uh, new quest available oh my god wait okay but actually i will finish this quest <laughs> uh, what am i doing okay uh new quest available at the prison maybe now this is the part of the game that I'm honestly the most nervous about. Actually, dude, it's all the way to the other side of the map. Like I said, teleport to the pirate village. We're halfway there. Boom, baby. Now, guys, if they're using fighting styles, the, the best accessory to actually get is the Vice Admiral's Coat, which can be gotten on the, uh, you know, the island from way back when, because we're already uh, much better than that now. I'm, of course, uh, kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you, you can kill it off the Vice Admiral. It has, like, a small drop chance, but that actually is the best for, um, uh, you know, if you have a fighting style. Uh, it deals, it you, know, you get an extra 10% boost the damage but for us we need to get in the pyramid i don't know where the entrance is wait where's the entrance ah! am i dumb Dude, where the heck is this entrance at but isn't it oh my god it's under it's under the freaking chest i'm an idiot i forgot uh yeah we're gonna have to go down here now this guy actually sells the best accessory for sword users um we go up here it's hassan now to be able to actually buy this sword you're not ready yet are we? wait what wait what wait i need this three at least 300 stat points on sword wait what okay i don't know that must be wrong uh yeah you need at least 300 stat points on sword it said but but uh, I guess the wiki is wrong. I just wasted a bunch of time with that then. Dang it. Yeah, he would not sell it to me. I, I, I don't know exactly why. Bro, this thing is stuck again. Are you kidding me, bro? I need that boat, man. Yeah, if you guys know exactly uh, what, what I messed up, uh, please let me know down in the comments. But yeah, uh, that right there is the best accessory for sword users. <laughs> All right, guys, now let me explain why I'm a little bit scared of the prison. It's the only area actually in the game where pretty much there was like a ton of bosses and that is like the fastest way to get through it. Now, in a recent update, they have gone ahead and actually added regular NPCs as well that you can, uh, you know, go ahead and kill. But uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to start with, uh, okay, not the warden. Okay, yeah, this is actually a little bit later. So yeah, we're going to actually get to kill these guys first. I'm hearing someone else here, which makes me a little nervous. Okay, I'm, ju I'm just going to kill him. Okay, I'm just going to kill all the people here. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill these enemy enemies fast here. But yeah, we can actually kill these enemies first. Uh, but yeah, after this, there's just simply gonna be a bunch of bosses that are actually gonna be on our chopping block, which I'm not super excited about. Bosses tend to be a lot slower. Other this guy, other this other guy does seem to be grinding here right now. So not exactly what we're looking for. But wait, we can kill him. Can we kill him? No, he he's PvP locked. Okay. Now this area is actually pretty nice for grinding. Like I quite like it. I just gotta make sure that this other guy does not try to steal my enemies. <laughs> now, guys, what are the reasons that I actually ended up just buying double XP? In instead of, uh, you know, using codes to get it is because I wanted to make this video a little bit more timeless. So now actually, you know, right now, if you wanted to, you could just look up all of the different codes and also get like a lot of double X.
XP, like at least like two or three hours probably because bro, they give you a bunch of codes nowadays. But yeah, the codes that I would use right now would not be, you know, in a week's time. They would, they would already be different. So yeah, I decided to, uh, you know, just instead buy the double XP. But you can actually very easily get double XP yourself with just simply using the codes. Like yeah, there's a lot of them nowadays. Also, I have 50 sats and I, bro, I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. Brother started to steal my kills. I'm oh, sorry, brother. I got to steal your kills then. Pretty much what we want them to do is we want them to be the one to change servers, okay? Like, I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. Okay, so right now, can we do the dangerous prisoners? We can, but I think we can also do the warden. Let's see. So, wait, no, the warden is level uh, 220. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have to do uh, this quest for a very long time. So let's just get right into it, man. This might be the most grindy part of the, uh, you know, for the rest of the game. <laughs> also, we just about like a minute ago crossed the one minute, or, or sorry, not minute, one minute, one hour barrier. So yeah, dude, kind of crazy. We're already at level 215. Oh, wait, new quest available. Okay, we got 220. Let's see, is the warden here? I don't see the warden. Yeah, dude, there's a guy over there that's actually grinding them. I I'm not even gonna bother, man. I'm just gonna go straight back into the dangerous prisoners. Fun fact, if you ever wanted to get rid of your, uh, your, uh, your, your, uh, what is it called? Your blocks fruit. You can actually do it over there on the back of the prison. It's kind of like a random little known fact. Um, I don't know why you would ever want to get rid of your blocks fruit, but there it is if you want to do it. All right, new quest available. Once again, it's gonna be one of the ones, uh, that's actually the bosses right here at night. I mean, wait, actually, the warden is here. Wait, I can actually kill the warden. You know what? Actually, let's do it. We're gonna have to, yeah, actually, we just killed that guy as well. I feel, oh my god! I got messed up because, uh, actually, I forgot. I've got absolutely zero levels. <laughs> that's great. All right, so we can do, we can do that one right now. Wait, the warden? Was that not the warden? I thought that was the warden. Okay, that was not the warden. I'm being an idiot. But yeah, that's always the thing with that uh, specific quest. If you actually have all three of them, uh, you know, unlocked, you can simply do three quests over and over and over again. And it's actually really, really good. But if you only have one of them enabled, you can only kill one of the like bosses there. And it's it's just kind of weird, man. Now, luckily, this is the only part of the game that is like this because, dude, I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty well known that this is like the most annoying part of the first scene. New quest available! We're once again not gonna do it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna skip this part of the game. <laughs> Actually, wait, a fruit just spawned over there. Uh, this is a random world fruit spawn. Um, I'll pick it up. It's the falcon fruit. I will not consume it, but it's kind of cool that I found it, man. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll just I'll just I'll just drop it over here for someone else. If you ever see it though, by the way, guys, laying around in the world, make sure you pick it up and then drop it, so then we'll actually never despawn. That way, you can make sure someone else can get the fruit if you don't want it. <laughs> Come on, dude. We're so close to level 250. I think, I think that's what we need to get to be able to get off this island, which man, I want to get off this island. <laughs> All right, let's see. Come on. Coliseum, let's go. We made it off this freaking stupid island, man. I hate this place. All right, here's our boat. Uh, we'll just, actually, I don't know if this is our boat. We'll just, we'll just take whatever, whoever, whoever's boat this is. Actually, is it faster to teleport? Uh, yeah, it's going to be way faster to teleport. Let's teleport. Because here we can actually get a fast boat. Also, guys, I think 550,000 is the price of uh, the electric fighting style which is like the second best one of all the fighting styles so figured i would let you guys know that we're about to reach it so if you want to grab the next fighting style you could right now okay there is someone else grinding here but wait, oh i don't want so much bomb point i don't know why i keep doing that it's just like a really old habit and it's a bad habit at that because you don't want to do that uh, but yeah he's on the other side so i think it's fine for now but i think he's gonna be way higher level than us so we might have to server hop if we actually uh, you know run into troubles with him but i think for now we'll be all right or, uh we'll throw points into melee i want to be able to dash around faster oh man finally getting levels faster again this feels good <laughs> all right we got 100 points in melee which is honestly where i'll probably leave it i don't think i need more than 100 points in melee <laughs> oh dude this guy wants to fight i already know he wants to oh, wait i have pvp disabled okay <laughs> i might just want to leave it that way all right we got to do this quest like two more times and we'll already be on to the next one like yeah like i said guys uh <laughs> we just finished the most frustrating part of this entire challenge like doing everything fastest you know it's something but dude that island man it feels like you're stuck there forever <laughs> All right, we got 100 stat points in defense now as well. So uh, we can now, from now this point, for the rest of the entire thing, we're only going to be leveling our sword, man. Like, at, le at least we're not going to just die just by being breathed on. <laughs> All right, new quest available. Let's go. Is the other guy actually grinding there? Okay, he is. I'm going to I'm gonna swap servers now. Wait, what? I'm so confused. There's no enemies. Okay, wait, wait. Do they spawn when I get close to them? Wait, what? Huh? Brother, what? How does that work? And okay, now they're spawning normal. Okay, well, I know there's one, like, right around over here. Okay, there we go. He spawned. Yeah, we got them all spawned in now. But, dude, that was super weird. Dude, I actually have to just remember where they spawn. Dude, that's... How, I don't know if that's, like, a bug that I'm having right now or, like, if that's just the way it's supposed to be. But that is weird, man. All right, now I only need one more level to actually go to the next island. So, instead, I'm actually gonna just do uh, this quest right here. The one that we've already done, it's not the highest level one right now. But, dude, if you just need to get one level, just do whatever this is the fastest way to get that one level. Because when you get to the next island, you're gonna start getting levels so fast again compared to what you're doing now that, you know, it's just worth it to just get to the next island 
them as fast as you can. I'm literally gonna stand here, kill this guy, and just teleport home. Bro, we're going to the next island, baby. Which is actually gonna be the magma village. Wait, is that closer or further? I, I probably I probably should have checked that before I did the teleport. Wait, no, that was definitely further away. <laughs> no, actually, guys, on our way to the magma island, because for some reason we cannot seem to be able to buy uh, you know, the the, the thing at the desert, the, the the swordsman helmet. I think that's what it's called. Uh, we're actually gonna go over here and we're gonna grab the black cape. It's just gonna give us a little bit of a boost in damage. Uh, it's right there in that tower. So we're gonna have to climb it and get up there. But I think we should be able to do that. Not too slow. All right, we made it. Go down. There we go. Paralus, hello. Uh, buy, the, buy the black cape. Thank you very much. All right, then, baby. Magma village. Here we go. Military soldiers it is. You know what? Now that I'm actually right here, I'm just gonna go buy flash step. You know, I might as well. It's just gonna help me like actually speed up my grinding. Because now we can uh, teleport. Really, bro? We're like so close to the next quest, man. Are you kidding me, man? All oh, right, there it is. New quest available. Let's go. Military spies for 2 million XP. Pretty good stuff. Oh, actually, these guys are like one of my favorite things in the entire game to grind. Because, I mean, they just literally spawn right next to each other. It's amazing. All right, next, first quest done. Let's go, baby. Oh, look at those levels. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, this is a guy going to kill me. I'll kill you first. There you go. Oh, my God. Wait, we have, we have to use Hope's hat. Uh, well, that's my first... Ex wait, no, wait. That is not my... Bro, that is a worse accessory. I don't want that. Wait, wait, wait. Get rid of that thing. Where's my cape? Give me my cape back, man. Bro. You cannot equip iron as well in combat? Bro, I don't want this freaking stupid helmet. It's only good if you use pistols. Okay, this dude is actually trying to kill the Admiral right now. I'll just do a little bit of damage to him just so that, you know, no matter what happens, at least we're going to get some of the, like, some of the um, mastery from it. So, yeah. I was actually waiting to kill that guy until I could do the quest, but uh, I guess uh, he's going to get killed before then. <laughs> New quest available, but we can't do it because the guy just killed him. Ah. All right, we got to get to 375, but we are officially at the halfway point, which is kind of insane, to be honest. We were able to get halfway in like less than an hour and a half, like hour and hour 40 minutes. That's crazy. All right, baby, final one. I think this one actually might have taken the longest out of any other grinding area, just simply because you got to, you know, for the first time, really just kind of like get 50 full levels to go to the next area. But I'm not going to lie. I don't really mind it because I really like grinding these guys. I just love how close together they are. And there it is, baby. We have unlocked the next quest which is gonna be underwater city finally have, we have made it there and actually we also have enough money to actually buy it so you know what i'm just gonna say it we're gonna completely change our entire build you know we're still gonna continue using the boot up fruit but uh you know what i want to show off you know that you don't need to just have the dark blade to be able to do stuff like this so yeah what we're gonna use right here is we're gonna use a code i mean just google the codes okay and then, you know, that was chance i'm gonna try you new refund doesn't work that is exactly what they mean they literally constantly change okay Right now, sub to Uncle Kizaru. There you go. We got a stat refund, okay? <laughs> so we're going to refund. We're going to put 100 points into defense and everything else into melee. Because, yeah, I mean, we don't need our sword stats. And that way, we get even more stats, meaning that you actually kind of like get more damage than I would with the block, like with the Dark Blade, which is kind of amazing. So let's hop right in. Now, first things first, we're actually going to go buy our new fighting style. Come on. We're going to go first. All right, we're going to go through this wall. Wait, uh, right here. Yeah. And we did get targeted this guy. We get, we, 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 we get it. Yes. There you go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Next area. Here we come. Water, fishman style. Now, yeah, dude, this is, I can already tell that this is actually going to be just fine. I mean, either it's very, very similar, the same, or just extremely close. I really like this. I mean, look at how fast we're going. We just killed all of these guys, except, I mean, we don't have one. I mean, there just simply are only seven enemies here, but dude, that's crazy. We might want a little bit more health though. <laughs> okay. Wait, we got our first quest completed. All right. Yeah. It actually feels like this might be going faster than the dark blade, which is pretty awesome if you ask me baboom baby all right wait we already had 400 uh, well i guess i missed that uh, when it actually happened but uh yes we can do the next quest now very nice i actually really like both of these areas honestly uh okay i might okay you know what 50 levels that should be enough right okay <laughs> uh yeah i need i need some more help uh honestly these uh past few eras have been like my favorite in the entire game like i don't know man i'm maybe a little bit nostalgic but it's the one thing i'm worried about when they change you know with the new update and everything when they change the whole map i really I like these areas, so I hope they don't mess them up. But yeah, we're just gonna keep doing this until level 450, actually. Uh, we might start throwing in a couple of the uh, fishman lords, but I'm pretty sure right now it's just... Okay, he is actually right there, so we could do it, but I don't know. I, I just kind of like going around doing this. And there it is. Okay, 425. We can now do uh, the, the, the the fish king, uh, fishman lord. I'll do it one time. I'll see what it does. Honestly, I feel like usually when I actually finally get to killing these guys, it doesn't really do that much for me, but look at how 
fast I can kill this guy compared to the others. Like, it's honestly kind of insane how fast you can do that quest. It's just that, like, either I'd have to start server hopping now, which I don't really want to do, or it's just not as good. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Like, if I was to, like, with Robux respawn him constantly, like, yeah, that would be worth it. That would be, that would be pretty fast, but I don't really want to do that right now. Also, this account doesn't actually have any more Robux on it. <laughs> All right, then, baby, my final quest in the underwater area. Honestly, we kind of breeze through here, even though it's supposed to take, like, pretty long. I guess maybe we're just starting to get slightly overpowered. I mean, keep in mind, guys, the only thing that we're currently leveling is our, you know, our fighting style. So, as you can see, I mean, look at my energy. I can literally dash forever, and it doesn't even matter. I do like, earlier, I was constantly running out of dash, but, you know, not anymore. Also, I'm, uh, I'm gonna teleport back to the pirate village. It's just gonna be way faster. So, yeah, just because of that, just because of the fact that we can put almost all of our stat points into a single stat, we are just going way faster than we really should be going. So, yeah, I would, I would say that definitely, like, if you're only using fighting styles for the entire duration of what we've been doing, it might actually even be faster than the Dark Blade. Uh, I'm sorry to tell the people that just spent, like, what, like, 1,700 on a sword that there's, like, something better, but, yeah, starting off in the game, I really do think that fighting styles might be better. I mean, you simply only have so many stat points. Also, I'll show you, like, my super secret insanely good strat for actually getting to the top of the Skylands quick. I messed it up earlier, but, uh, yeah, um, you know, I'm not gonna mess it up this time. So, pretty much, yeah, the second it says Skylands, you can actually reset character. Uh, wait, what? It didn't reset? Okay. You can reset character. It actually will put you at the top, so way faster that way. There you go! All right, we're gonna have to make our way up there. Uh, that's actually a bit of an interesting problem we have here. Actually, wait. No, it's not. We have infinite jumps, pretty much, because we got way more energy than we really should have. <laughs> oh, wait, there's someone else grinding here. Oh, wait, is he, though? I don't think he's actually grinding here. Okay, I think we're lucky. Yeah, okay, we got these guys. These guys are actually really annoying, by the way, so, um, yeah, be careful of these guys. They will, they will mess you up, but they're also pretty easy to grind, so they're, they're actually pretty good. Also, we've only got, like, two more areas left until we've reached the end of the game, so, yeah, uh, pretty crazy. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm already almost done with this area. It feels like I've literally been here for less than five minutes, which, I mean, if you look at the time, maybe we were here for less than five minutes, which is freaking crazy, by the way. This is usually one of those places I tend to kind of get stuck on a little bit. Now, we're right now, oh, wait, we have a problem, wait. Oh, wait, they, they changed it, so you can just get down the corner. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if we can actually, yeah, we can't actually get rid of the, the, the smoke there, but we can just jump through now, so it doesn't even matter anymore. So yeah, here we go. We're now in the upper Skylands. We're finally, we're, we're finally here, baby. We're on the final stretch. Wait, have I not been using hockey? I feel like I haven't been using hockey. I might've been dumb. Oh God, wait, I think there's a guy that actually wants to kill me over here. This is uh, not really what I want to do, but uh, okay, man, if you want to die, you got to die, you know? I think this is the final one. Oh wait, I think we got to do the boss next. Wait, is there even a boss here? No, there's no boss. Dang it! Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to get to 525. All right, you know what? I decided to server hop for once just so that we can actually kill the Vesper. Hello, Mr. Vesper, your time to die. Wait, there's a guy right here, but we just killed him. I didn't even mean to kill that guy. I feel a little bit bad. Okay, that guy only gives us three levels. That's not even that good, but he wants to fight again. He's enabling again, bro. You're dead. I don't know what, I don't know what you want, man. Like, I'm way over leveled right now. Bro, he's coming for me again, bro. You're dead again. Bro, give up! Especially with the strength fruit, bro. It's not that good, especially in the first C. Dude, we are so close, man. We're less than a, like a tenth of a level away, man. Dude, we're gonna get deeper into the Skylands now, and we're gonna be faced with a choice. Now, do we want to get observation hockey, or do we not care? Um, I think when you have early level observation hockey, it's honestly a little bit useless. It doesn't really do anything for you, but I mean, on the other hand, we don't really have anything else to spend our money on, so you know what? I think we might just get observation hockey. Now, we could have actually done this at level, like, 300, I think. Um, I didn't do that. Wait, I think we might need the saber quest completed. I think because we haven't done saber, we can't do it. Okay, wait, there's like two guys here, bro. Okay, we're just we're, we're just gonna mess him up real quick, but we're, like I said, you gotta rage quit him early. He was in the menu, okay, bro? It's it was like my perfect opportunity. I'm sorry. I'm a I'm a bad person. It's fine. All right, let's see. Uh, instinct teacher talk. Uh, yeah. Okay, we gotta we if we don't have the saber, which actually is yeah, it's it's actually a really good sword if you want to get it. I I didn't end up getting it because I got the freaking dark blade. Okay, it's a little bit better. All right, killing royal guards royal squads it is oh yes dude oh my god dude i can't believe we're actually this close to finally finishing this it's been about two and a half hours which honestly sounds kind of like a lot but it honestly has been pretty chill i've just kind of you know going around punching a couple of dudes like it's not really been all that intense it's been actually so chill i forgot to do my levels completely i've got 101 right now throw those all into my butt my, my fighting style and yeah man we're gonna just continue going around oh my god wait what was that freaking phoenix bro what the heck bro get killed Get out of here, man. Don't underestimate me, fool. Oh, new quest available, bro. Let's go. Oh, wait, he's, 
is he coming back? I think he wants to kill me. All right, Thunder God, there we go. Yeah, your PvP lock, buddy. Uh -huh, nice try. Oh, wait, is he even spawned it right now? Uh, nope. Yeah, he is not even here. Dang it. Well, I guess uh, the royal uh, soldiers will do. Oh my god, we finally got level 250 on uh, Water Kung Fu. Dude, that's actually kind of insane. We can finally do this now. We got a little dash. I'll actually really take that. That's kind of nice. Loud tremors are being heard across the seas, dude. We could actually get the white beard, um, uh, like what is it called? The staff? The we could get the Bacento upgrade right now, but we don't have the Bacento, so I don't really upgrade it. <laughs> oh, dude, come on. One level away. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do a royal, uh, whatever. Royal squad then. This one. Dude, we're about to reach the final freaking island, dude. I can't believe it. We're so close. I wasn't even once able to kill the Thunder God. I, like, literally went through that fast. He didn't even have time to respawn. So, all right. Well, well we're teleporting back now. We're gonna throw all of our points into melee. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's go, baby. We're back down to the real world. And, dude, I can't believe it, man. That right there is gonna be our final destination. <laughs> All right, now this right here is it, baby. We made it to the Fountain City. And yeah, we got to kill galley pirates, which actually are, I think, the ones that we're going to grind all the way until the very end. So yeah, this, uh, this is literally going to be our final set of enemies, man. And dude, we are just breezing through these guys. Like typically, they actually take a little while. Actually, I haven't even started the quest. I messed up something. Wait, 625? Wait. <gasps> no, wait, I went to the wrong area. There's another thing in the upper sky that I needed to do. Oh my God, man. I messed up. Oh gosh. Well, that's going to cost is like five minutes it's not the end of the world but i tried to be as fast as i can so yeah i should have checked the compass man oh man <laughs> oh well i mean uh, you know stuff happens all right well back to this oh wait the, the thunder god has spawned so we can actually kill him one time uh, let's see how much that actually does for us in a sec like it might just be really good i, I honestly don't really know a thunder god wait, but i was able to do him a while back wait so what did i unlock didn't it say quest unlocked when i reached seven when i reached 600 i don't know man well this dude is absolutely toast brother doesn't even have a chance all right one two three three levels like it's not that much better it's at least it's not worth server hopping for i know that much all right now now it's time to do a royal squad okay yeah we're one level off see not even a level off we're literally a sliver of a level off okay but there's another buddha here wait but we might just want to mess him up a little bit you know we might just want to mess him up a little bit okay he's gone <laughs> yeah we're leaving this area anyway we should we shouldn't bully them away it doesn't matter for us all right here we go new quest fountain city dude let's go teleport home track now my goal for this entire challenge was that it would be really nice if i could do it under three hours currently we're at three hours so it seems like we're gonna be pretty close we're about 75 levels away from actually reaching the second c but yeah we're still not there yet <laughs> all right there we go finally well now i can say that we're gonna keep killing these guys actually what am i doing selecting the wrong guys uh we're gonna keep killing the galley, galley pirates pretty much all the way until the very end so yeah these guys yeah they die in only a couple hits dude this is perfect all right baby we got level 650 now one time i will do this quest but i'll show you exactly why it's worse so first of all we need to kill nine enemies secondly we're gonna have to get to the other side of this huge island to actually kill them which is just simply quite inefficient and honestly for the worst part uh yeah you gotta kill nine of them they're very much more powerful are they nine of these guys there? no no wait there's eight of them here i think yeah, yeah yeah so there's eight of them you so you can't even kill all of them in one go so especially if you can't just like buddha like what i'm doing right now bro these are like such a bad option like it's not even funny wait actually are they though wait with the reset wait this might actually be kind of sick wait this might actually even be faster now i only think it's faster because i have buddha and uh literally anyone else should avoid this uh with all costs but like wait this might actually be kind of sick yeah i think this might actually be faster <laughs> actually you know what i just don't like having to go all the way across the map so i'm actually still gonna continue killing these guys it's like so little extra xp as well yeah <laughs> dude that's what i was about to say the galley pirates the ones that we're killing right now give 700 or sorry seven million five hundred thousand xp and the other guys give like eight million five hundred thousand so it's like one million more but bro it's so much more effort like it's not even funny yeah this is literally way faster i don't know what i was thinking okay now the cyborg is actually here so you know what maybe in a minute we'll, we'll do the cyborg quest like one time i don't know from what i remember you really don't get enough experience to actually warrant like going out of your way to harvest them pretty much like all the other bosses in the game but like this one gives 10 million experience yeah bro it's actually it's a little bit more though i don't know i really don't know if it's worth it to be honest oh yeah actually one of the reasons that the guys on the other side of the map are way worse than the ones that we're killing right now is because they have hockey so if you 
are one of the many people that will probably do this challenge, but with a Logia fruit instead. Um, yeah, you're gonna just have a very hard time with those guys. You probably want to just kill the galley captains. Uh, yeah, sorry, galley pirates. It's just way better. All right, we unlocked the cyber quest. We're gonna do it one time. Maybe we get lucky and actually get the accessory. Uh, honestly, that's the one thing I wouldn't mind getting right now. Not like it's gonna help us like a ton because, you know, we're already towards the end of the game, but, you know, it would have just been kind of fun. Just don't hit me. Just don't go for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think I will die to literally one of his bullets. Okay, yeah, there you go. Uh, we didn't get what we wanted, but hey, we got three levels. Four levels? Okay, I'll take it. Baby, I can't even believe it. We're on the final, like literally as in final, final quest for the entirety of the first C, and it's finished. We have unlocked the second C. We have reached level 700, which is when you can start going to the second C. Now, I don't know why, but I didn't get like a quest notification. So yeah, it still says the NPC is at the Fountain City. Now, nothing changed, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over to the castle and the sea anyway, because uh, yeah, we pretty much managed to do all of this in three hours and 15 minutes, which is crazy. I got zero, to, like literally level 700 in three hours and 15 minutes. Now, if you, of course, don't have double XP or, you know, I don't know, for some other reason, it should probably take around six hours. So let's see. Military detective. Dot, 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 dot. God's one has escaped. We need to help Dragon down before it takes over the world. My intel is that he says in a frozen village. Frozen village, baby. We're going to the frozen village. So yeah, we are now on the final quest of the game, baby. I can't even believe it. By the way, guys, if you want to like fact check anything during this video, you're like, bro, this guy, he's cheated somewhere. He's, you know, done something fake. Look at my double XP level. You know, there's just like a countdown constantly going through the entirety of the video. And it should be pretty easy to actually verify that I haven't cheated anything. Like it actually only takes three hours and 15 minutes to do it with all of these methods. Like it is pretty freaking insane. All right, now here we go. We're in the ice city. No, actually I'm going the wrong way. Right, I would really like to do this under three hours and 15 minutes, but yeah, we're going to have to go in here, right? Am I crazy? You know what? I'm just going to cheat my way in here. Wait, we can't fight him yet? Wait, what? Wait, what did I do wrong? Did I mess something up? But I got a key. Oh, I got on. I got to unlock the door, man. I'm an idiot. All right, there you go. We got to mess this dude up. And he is officially messed up. Talk to the detective. There we go. Exactly. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not even going to read the text. Bro, 11 seconds and we will officially have done it. Dude, I don't think I'm going to make it under, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Talk to this dude. He's going to tell us we're going to go to the second C. Yeah, he's in the second C. Talk to the captain. Yep, there we go. We can now officially go to the second freaking C. There he is, sir. Bring me to the second C. Yes, man. There it is. Ah! That is the fastest time in which you can make your way to the second C. We currently have two hours, 43 minutes left on the clock, meaning that it took us about three hours and like 17 minutes to get here, man. I can't believe it. We actually made it, guys. If you want to see me do this for the second and even third C, let me know down in the description because you know what? I would really, you know, enjoy doing it. Why not? 